shaking. Uh, a lot of comments, a lot of private messages been sent to me from many, many people. I want to thank those uh, you, you guys out there for some of the more sensible comments on what it could have been. But uh, this video is being made to discount the uh, accusations that it was atmospheric variations. Okay, anybody who is a amateur astronomer knows that atmospheric variations don't look like what you see in that video, the moon shaking. They look like what I'm about to show you. In this video, there are two videos. The first video you're going to see is a video with definite atmospheric variations in it where it looks like you're looking at the moon through clear water and there's slight waves going across it or it looks like you're looking at the moon with there's a lot of heat rising up in front of the moon in you uh, that's definite atmospheric variations the second video will be a video taken where there were no atmospheric variations now you're always going to get some sort of atmospheric interference when you're looking at objects from the earth especially when you're close to sea level uh, up into space now if I were on a high mountain somewhere the atmospheric variations would very would actually be almost non noticeable but they would still be there if you know what you're looking for the second video there's definitely no atmospheric variations like it was in the first one for sure so you're going to see the big difference in the videos. Now, real quick, uh, no, it wasn't traffic passing by my house that caused the uh, the uh, telescope to shake uh, when I took that video. Uh, there's, I did not touch the telescope. It is not the telescope is not on a tripod. It's a Dobsonian telescope, guys. Look that up. Uh, it, it is also encased, uh, covered up outside, and it's also on a slab of concrete that is sitting on. Um, again, I still don't know what caused it. It was not any flaws in the tracking system on the telescope whatsoever. I've checked it, went out and checked it again, ran it for hours and hours, tracking objects in the sky since that night, and the same shaking has not taken place since then. Okay? Anyway, guys, on to that video where you're going to see what exactly atmospheric variations look like. Thanks for watching. God bless.